Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and welcome to this video. So, I was fortunate enough to get my hands on a level 130 Sunbeam Gravedigger. Not only is it level 130, but it also has max legendary tier perk rolls. So, this was given to me by my good friend Porter, he hit me up with it whilst um, we were playing some missions. And, well, it started off because he asked, hey, do you have the gra Gravedigger? And I was like, no, no, I missed the event. And uh, I'm very salty about missing it because the Gravedigger is such a good gun. And I'd never actually used one up to this point. I, pr I think I used some, like, when I was a bit newbie, So I never really paid too much attention to it. But after taking this for a spin, I have to admit, it, it is pretty crazy. So, as you can see here for the perks, we have Element Fire, that is default. I think I think they're static, I can't remember. Critical Rating, Damage to Afflicted Targets, Crit Damage, Damage, and then Causes Affliction. So, there's just some crazy damage there, especially when you hit the Crit Damage too. So, I'm going to take this in for a spin, but first, I'm going to show you my hero setup. Normally, when I do the weapon reviews, I use Heavy Base Kyle, Reclaimer, and Power Base Nox because those are my that's my personal favorite to run, and I'm always playing Constructor. But for the sake of the Grave Digger, you know, I've got it as a one off, so you know, I thought I may as well do it like this. I am going to run it for you with the Urban Assault Headhunter, Wukong, and Raven. So I've got maximum DPS, I believe. I think this is the highest we can get. Uh, you could probably play another Urban Head, uh, Urban. Assault Headhunter here instead of Wukong if you wanted to do the damage, the headshot damage, but I quite I, I like the Wukong because of the 24% increased assault damage, so hell yeah. So we got this absolutely crazy boost, we got some mad stats for the to take this into the game, so let's jump into the gameplay and see what this thing can do. So I don't play Soldier much, so you won't see me using the abilities and all of that correctly. I've just leveled up my Urban Assault on the side because it's... From what I've heard, it's the best soldier, and you know, from what I've used of it, it does seem like that. But you know, I we all know I love the constructor and I love building, so that is what I always run. And there's no real reason for me to run soldier um, because most of the time there's so many soldiers in game, so the DPS is always there. But since you know, if I ever need to run soldier, say there is a constructor in my game already, I can switch it up so. Whilst I was running this, we were in a level 88 mission. We leveled up the difficulty by 2, so the the husks are taken to level 94. Now, the crazy thing about this, or sorry, 93, <laughs> but the crazy thing about this is how fast this gun melts the smashers. Like, whilst I was running this, because I've never run, like, full DPS before, when I was, as you can see on the screen, I just, that smasher got sent to another dimension, all right? And I do that to all of his friends and family that come along throughout this whole game. I, I couldn't get over the damage. Like, you can see the hits from the Gravedigger are 50,000. And I was like, what? 50,000? I'm used to around, let's say, 15 to 20,000 for my hits. So when I was seeing 50,000 as the sort of base hits and 70,000 to 80,000 for crit shots... I was like, this is some crazy stuff right here. This is like insane. And the fact that it melted everything, just absolutely anything. I could shoot anyone. I could take on God right now. I probably couldn't because he's already he's already sent me down to hell with the devil. And we all know why. Because you guys reach likes. And I don't know why. So, <laughs> but I mean, this smasher, I, I couldn't get over how quickly it killed smashers. So... The thing with this weapon, it has a 14 magazines. It's quite high. The normal assault rifle has 30. So the fact it had 40 was pretty crazy. The fire rate was pretty much perfect, I would say. Not too much, so you wouldn't get too much recoil, enough to control. And that combined with the... What are you saying? What am I saying? The fire rate combined with the ammo mag, uh, the magazine size, was perfect. It was the perfect combination. And to be honest... Using this weapon, it's so well-rounded. It's the most default assault rifle, but just completely perfect in all ways, shapes, and forms. So it does make me quite envious of the people who have the Grave Digger, because if I did have it, it would be this level, and it would be maxed. Because I love... The reason I love the Tiger so much is because it has the scope, which I love. And it also has the semi-automatic fire rate. It can go full auto if you hold it, but it has, you know, the do 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 instead of, you know, like, 
It's like, <laughs> like the, this gun. I've forgotten its name, alright? It's called the Grave Digger, Aiden. Get with it. I was just so hyped about this gun, but when I was using it, I was like, this gun... When I was it, playing the game, I was like, why? This is probably... This is why soldiers get so much damage. Now, I knew soldiers obviously got damage because they have all the buffs and perks, but if a soldier is running this, you know, this weapon, and they're hitting 50,000 base, like, this is the third highest rated mission you can do. You know, default-wise. Like, you have 88, 94, 100. And obviously you have the 4 player 100, the 4 player this and that. But the fact that this is killing such high level mobs so quickly, I mean, it's just crazy. Honestly, it is crazy. Like, I would like to think my Super Shredder hits around, it hits up to 200,000. But you think how many shots it has, okay? So it has 8 shots in the magazine. Say so I hit all my shots at, you know, 200,000, so 8 times 200,000, so Mass Evading 16 something. So 1.6 million, right? Okay, I think that's right. So that would be. So let's take the Grave Digger with a base attack of 50,000. 14 mag to 2 million just from a mag. And that's default base. Now, I know some of the shots hit 30,000, but if you take into consideration, you know, critical shots that do around 80,000, 70,000, and they make up for the 30,000, so you get a nice base at 50,000 per shot. So the thing is, with such a high hitting weapon, it made me think, why? how do smashers actually get through in some of my missions? Because there are soldiers running around. Now, I, I, okay, I can see that not everyone has a maxed level grave digger. But, you know, the fact that this, this bad boy can drop such high damage. I mean, look at this boss on screen now. He is a beastly tank husky husk. And he just got wrecked. And uh, he was water-based as well. And I was still using my fire weapon on him, which is, you know, minimal damage. But it's still done so much damage to him. And there's just no way this gun can be... It's not going to get nerfed anytime soon. And after using it, I think this gun is just so overpowered. It's crazy. It's just insane. Like, imagine if Tier 6 came out, right? A Tier 6 upgrade. So you take this weapon up to, say, I don't know. What would it be? 156 or something like that. And imagine that. Imagine what the base hits would be. Now, obviously, you know, it would sort of work in with the high-level mobs, but imagine hitting, right, AR shots that would do around 70,000... Uh, well, we already do, but imagine your base shot. <laughs> can you imagine? Yes, Aiden, I can see it on screen. Oh, you don't have to imagine. But can you imagine if your base damage was, like, 80,000? I mean, that'd be pretty crazy. And your crits are just, like, 140, 150,000. Crit damage at 140,000, 150,000. Be crazy. But after hitting so many shots, like 70,000, 50,000, I know I'm going on a lot about the numbers, but that is sort of the point of the Grave Digger. It just does insane damage. And uh, I got a war cry here, and look how quickly I. St that was only me shooting that smasher. And he went down, like. I mean. What goes down, guys? <laughs> oh, a submarine! Good one, Aiden. That's a great analogy. I'm going to take that one to school. Now, the thing is, I always say this, the, now the, the thing is, I don't have it. Oh, I, I wonder if Epic will give us the Halloween event again this year. And what I wonder if they will re-release re the Grave Digger. Now, from games I've played in the past that give out event items, for example, RuneScape, they, some items never came back. Uh, you know, it was a one-off event, you got that item and it never came back. But what they've also done recently, in more recent times, is people have asked to get a hold of this item. So when the event comes out again, you get all the previous rewards from previous events, plus some new ones. So I'm wondering if Epic would do that. Now I know players with the Grave, Dig Grave Digger would be a bit salty because you know it, they, it's quite unique. It shows that they've been around for a long time. I respect that. You know, if it didn't come back, I wouldn't complain. But I would love to get my hand on a Grave Digger. So. You know, if it did come back, it would be pretty crazy, and I, I, I imagine every single person would get it. And I mean, it looks cool. Let's be honest, it looks amazing. It is one of the coolest looking guns in the game. I mean, along with, I mean, the Tiger does look pretty cool too. I mean, you know, but my review. I mean, I have to say that if you've got a Grave Digger, you're really lucky because it is, it is an insane gun. It's perfectly well rounded. It looks great. It does its job fine. Well, uh, sorry, fine, beautifully, amazing. You're, mwah. 
pizza well done very nice Aiden stopped in racist accents but <laughs> yeah it is an amazing weapon and I'm, I'm envious of people who have it but that is it guys that is the level 130 Sunbeam Grave Digger review now I don't as much as a review as it was me getting very hyped around the hits but you know that is just some crazy gameplay if you haven't seen it you know the Grave Digger before so be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.